Happy Tree Friends, the animated web series that's been delighting and shocking audiences since its debut back in 1999. But beware, this show is not for the faint of heart. Unlock your memory and let yourself be guided to the darkest side of the internet culture with what they call black humor. Picture this. Cute and cuddly anthropomorphic animals living in a colorful world. Sounds adorable, right? Well, hold on to your seats, because these adorable creatures have a penchant for getting into some seriously gruesome and violent situations that often lead to their, well, untimely and often hilarious demise. But here's the twist. People can't get enough of it. Happy Tree Friends has garnered a dedicated cult following over the years, thanks to its unparalleled mix of the sweet and the sinister. It's a roller coaster of dark humor and twisted creativity that'll have you both cringing and laughing at the same time. But let's make one thing crystal clear. This show is not meant for kids or anyone who's easily disturbed by graphic violence. Happy Tree Friends is a world where cute meets catastrophic and it's not pulling any punches. Despite the controversy surrounding its content, the series has given birth to a whole universe of spin-offs, merchandise, and even a video game. It's become a beloved and iconic part of internet culture, proving that even in the darkest corners of entertainment, there's a place for creativity and a twisted sense of humor. So if you're up for a wild ride through a world where cute can quickly turn into chaos, dive into the world of happy tree friends. The series was created by Road Montijo, Ken Navarro, and Aubrey Ancrum. It first premiered on the internet in 1999 and gained significant popularity for its unique blend of cute and innocent-looking animal characters, engaging in brutal, often fatal accidents. The show's tagline, Doomed to Die, reflects the dark and morbid nature of its content. The main characters in Happy Tree Friends are a group of anthropomorphic animals including Cuddles, Giggles, Toothy, Lumpy, and several others. Despite their adorable appearances, they constantly find themselves in perilous situations, leading to gruesome and comically exaggerated deaths. The show's dark humor lies in the stark contrast between the characters' cute appearances and the violent outcomes they face. Happy Tree Friends gained a cult following on the internet and later expanded to include various merchandise, spin-offs, and DVD releases. The show's popularity led to the creation of additional episodes and seasons, which were funded through the support of its dedicated fanbase. While Happy Tree Friends is known for its unique brand of dark humor, it is essential to approach the series with caution due to its graphic content. It is not recommended for sensitive viewers or young audiences, as the violence depicted is extreme and often disturbing. Dark humor, also known as black comedy, is a form of humor that often makes light of subjects that are generally considered serious, taboo, or sensitive. The psychology behind dark humor is complex and can vary among individuals, but there are several psychological theories that attempt to explain why some people find dark humor amusing. Incongruity Theory According to incongruity theory, humor arises from the violation of expectations. Dark humor often involves unexpected twists or juxtapositions, which can lead to surprise and amusement. The brain responds to the unexpected with laughter as a way to process the incongruity. Coping Mechanism Dark humor is sometimes seen as a coping mechanism, allowing individuals to deal with stress, trauma, or difficult situations. Laughing about serious or distressing topics may serve as a way to distance oneself emotionally, providing a sense of control or relief. Social Taboos Dark humor often involves breaking social taboos and discussing topics that are typically avoided in polite conversation. The appeal of breaking these taboos can be linked to a sense of rebellion or the thrill of transgressing societal norms. Intellectual Challenge Some individuals appreciate dark humor for its intellectual challenge. Jokes that require a certain level of understanding or knowledge about a topic may appeal to those who enjoy engaging their intellect in unconventional ways. Which theory do you consider yourself? Happy Tree Friends achieved a level of success due to several factors. 
The show's concept of juxtaposing cute and innocent-looking characters with violent and gory situations was highly original and appealed to a niche audience looking for unconventional humor. Over 50 million hits each month. Happy Tree Friends emerged during the early days of internet culture, when viral videos and online communities were gaining traction. The show's short, bite-sized episodes were easily shareable and spread rapidly through word of mouth, making it a viral sensation. While the violent content may not be suitable for everyone, there is a specific audience that appreciates dark humor. Happy Tree Friends tapped into this audience by pushing boundaries and exploring taboo subjects in an animated format, creating a unique and memorable viewing experience. The characters of Happy Tree Friends, despite their limited dialogue and simplistic design, managed to capture the imagination of viewers. Each character had distinct traits and personalities, making them memorable and relatable in their own way. Happy Tree Friends developed a dedicated fan base that actively supported the show. Fans engaged with the content, created fan art, shared episodes, and contributed to the show's success through their enthusiasm and participation. The popularity of the web series allowed for the creation of additional seasons, spin-offs, and merchandise. The availability of DVDs, clothing, toys, and other merchandise further contributed to the show's success and helped it reach a wider audience. Happy Tree Friends was never technically cancelled, with new episodes being produced as recently as late 2016, though it's clear that the show and its characters are nowhere near the level of fame they were back in the early to mid-2000s. According to Warren Graff's reply on a blog, the hiatus occurred due to the show being low on funds. After Dream Job, the production of episodes once again came to a halt, this time due to the production of a movie based on the series, and Ken Navarro creating his own YouTube channel called Zwack. Happy Tree Friends is a groundbreaking animated web series that made its debut in 1999. Created by Aubrey Ancrum, Rode Montijo, and Ken Navarro, the show presents a deceptively cute and cuddly world inhabited by anthropomorphic animals. However, beneath their adorable appearances, these characters frequently find themselves entangled in violent and gruesome scenarios that lead to their comically tragic deaths. The series has garnered a devoted cult following, celebrating for its unparalleled fusion of cuteness and morbidity. Happy Tree Friends delivers a roller coaster of dark humor and twisted creativity that both shocks and amuses its audience. It's important to note that this show is intended for mature viewers and is not suitable for children or those sensitive to graphic violence. Despite its controversial content, Happy Tree Friends has expanded its reach, spawning numerous spin offs, merchandise, and even a video game. It remains an iconic iconic and beloved fixture of internet culture, showcasing the enduring appeal of the unconventional and the boundary pushing in the world of animation. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button below so you never miss out on our latest tips and strategies. See you later.